I want to bring in Kelly Sadler with the America First Action Pack. Do you agree with the polls? In, in Pennsylvania, they show Biden up by 11 points. Do you agree that he is the front runner? I do not agree with any polls at this time. It is way too early. And with 20 plus Democrats in the race, I mean, we don't know who's going to excel in debates and who's going to outshine one another. And the Democratic field is very divided. You have Joe Biden, who the press is lauding as kind of the blue collar champion. When, when you were just, Peter just said, you know, under the Obama era, we were told that 1.9 GDP growth was the new normal, that those jobs weren't coming back. And basically, you know, you didn't build that. And this is what Joe Biden seems to be promising. Like, vote for me because I can return you back to the old status quo. So, of course, you know, some of the pollsters and some of the political pundits are looking, okay, who can be our next star? And those rising stars are on the radical, radical left. Green well, New Deal, Medicare for All, reparations. Kelly, on this program this week, we've had a couple of guests who say that the front runners will be uh, Mayor Pete and Senator Kamala Harris. They will be the front runners in the future. What do you make of that? I think Mayor Pete needs to get back to South Bend. I mean, there was a couple articles yesterday saying that since he's announced for the presidency, he's been there fewer than 50 percent of his time and the city needs him. Um, so, you know, he he did a great job on Fox News the other night in the town hall. He appears to me kind of like a wolf in sheep's clothing. He he's saying he's a moderate, but yet he supports things like reparations, like getting rid of the Electoral College, which would basically give California and New York you know, the right to decide this government. He says he wants to, you know, pack the Supreme Court and expand it for more liberal ideas. I don't think these are the types of talking points that are going to resonate well okay. with Rust Belt America. And as for Kamala, you know, she likes, to, she likes to say, let's have a conversation about that. But I really don't know what her policy ideas are at this point. You've got to hope that the performance of the economy beats those who dislike the president's style and tone. That's what you've got to hope for, that the yeah. economy wins. That's where you're coming from. Absolutely. You know, you know, we've never seen we have 3.2 GDP growth. We've got more jobs in America than Americans to fill them. I mean, this is a time when we had the deregulation coupled with the tax breaks. After the president put those two things in effect, we went from gaining 60,000 jobs a month to now over to more than 200,000. We've had the fastest job growth among blue collar, collar Americans in 31 years. And this is not some sort of fluke. This is a result of the president's policies. Well, if you listened to him last night, he's definitely running on the economy. Kelly, thanks for joining us this morning. Always appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Let's check out. Q